Well, firstly, welcome to a new video, but also welcome to this amazing woodland um, in Cambridgeshire. It's at a place called Holm Fen, and it's primarily a, a birch woodland. And the colours, ah, it's just truly amazing. Autumn is um, well and truly here. It's a carpet of yellow leaves, all the brackens turning, turning brown and golden. And the leaves are just starting to turn lovely golden yellow. So it's, it's truly spectacular. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm by a lake um, just, over, just over the way there, and you can probably hear there's absolutely hundreds of geese on it, which is uh, quite, uh, quite amusing to listen to. But today I don't really have a plan. I've come here, um, well, I'd like to photograph the autumn colours. I say every year I'm going to come out, I'm going to photograph the colours of autumn, and I never do, so this year I'm determined to do it. So I've ditched the, um, the big 600mm lens. Uh, I'm not doing any wildlife photography today. I've come here to try and capture some of this atmosphere in some of my images, all these gorgeous colours, and also look at capturing some fungi pictures, which is something <clears throat> I've never done before. And yeah, just something a bit different. So I've got, I've got my 1DX Mark II with me. I've got um, a range of lenses, and hopefully we'll find some fungi, find some interesting compositions, and capture some decent images. So let's have a wander around the wood and see what we can find. I mean, I'm walking down here through the trees, if you, as you can see. And it's just a carpet of golden, yellow, and brown on the floor. It's absolutely spectacular. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can hear the, the geese are still calling over there in the background. But it's, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Lots of old fallen trees. Plenty of opportunities, hopefully, for some fungi pictures. And if I don't come away with a landscape or some sort of creative um, image of these wonderful birch trees, then yeah, that'd be, uh, be a shame. But oh, look, there's lots of fungi around here. Here we go, here's some here. Can you see my camera? So if you can see these old bracket fungus here as well. So I think maybe yeah, we could have a good couple of hours here. Well, I haven't had to travel very far, and I've already found my first subject. Let me see this uh, gorgeous fungi here growing out this old broken down down birch tree. There's lots of other fungi on here. There's some, there's some bracket fungus down here, and some old fungi on the floor that has gone over. But this looks lovely as it's growing out the top here, and the shapes shapes of that. So I'm going to set up the comp set up for this composition, and now I'll take you through my camera settings. Okay, so I've set up for my first composition on this on this image. I think it's just a, at the moment it's just a straight on straight on shot. I'll show you that composition, but I might do some looking underneath up underneath them as well. The problem I've got here is I haven't brought a light with me, so what I'm gonna have to do is control the highlights um, 
but then you recover recover the shadows in, in post. So ideally on an ideal world I should have brought a light with me so I can lift the shadows a bit. But anyway, this is my composition. Okay, can you see that? So that's my composition. As you can see the histogram, I've not clicked any highlights on the mushrooms, which are quite a contrast against the dark wood. I've got a I've got a white balance of cloudy, which it is today, and it kind of represents what I'm seeing through my eyes and then I've got uh, I'm, I'm wide open on this lens at f4 15th of a 15th of a second shutter speed at ISO 100 so let's um, let's capture that image and see what it looks like so rather than uh, photograph that uh, that uh, those toadstools I showed you up there those fungi I found a much better example down here which is a much better composition so rather than photograph that I'm going to switch to this one and set that camera up now and photograph it but hopefully so it looks lovely it's coming out the side of the side of the um, rotten log here and I think it's just overall is a much better composition so I'm going to abandon that one because they're quite rotten I've been eating quite a lot and I can't get the distance um, between the background so it looks a bit messy so I'm going to switch to this one and uh, hopefully this one will turn out okay. So there's my composition. Um, yeah, quite like that. I've done a little bit of window dressing to remove any distractions. And uh, yeah, two second timer, ISO 100, cloudy white balance. And hopefully this will come out as a first nice image of the day. Well, that's the first one in the bag. I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, great find. So I'm going to have a wander around and see what else I can find. Um, but yeah, really pleased to find that within the first five, ten minutes of being here. Right. Let's wander around this. Uh, let's wait a bit more, see what else we can find. I mean, I can't, for me, I can't not photograph all these wonderful leaves on the floor. The, uh, you know, the contrast between the, the yellow leaves and the dark soil is really amazing so I'm going to find a good good spot for that and uh, probably yeah, photo take that away as a, another image actually it's beautiful I think I'm just going to do a top down shot I've got the 100mm macro on at the moment so I'm going to leave that on and uh, yeah, let's find a nice, a nice area to do that let me have a look down here those geese are still out there on the uh, on the lake. Loads of them. Must be several hundred of them out there. So <laughs> still making a racket. All right, let's find a let's find a good spot. Okay. Well, I can look endlessly to try and find a composition amongst all this leaf litter. So I'm gonna. I think I found a spot down here. Some quite bright leaves amongst the um, all the brown. Um, so I'm gonna set up and do a top down shot. Um, with a 100mm, I think a 100mm macro lens on, just picking out all these beautiful details in, and the colours in, in the leaves that are on the floor. So I'm going to set up that now. I think, I think I may have found another subject. There's absolutely, I mean all these birch trees here that have fallen. 
there's loads of bracket fungus and they have the most amazing textures on them. There's one out here, I'll show you it now. Okay, I don't know if you can see, where are we? Can you see that on the side of the tree there? Just growing out from the, um, you see that? And they've got the most amazing textures on them, they look like part of the wood. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and grab a very close up shot of that with the 100 mil macro. Just try and capture those, those lovely textures. So I found another subject um, just down here. It's another type of fungi growing out of a dead log on the floor. Um, no clue what it is, so if you know what it is, I'll leave the picture up. If you know what it is, I'd really appreciate a, a comment below. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hand hold it and uh, see, if I can get a, see if I can get a photo. So I found another one down here. Uh, something very, very different. It's gone over, but uh, yeah, it was an interesting fungus. Fungus when it was uh, in its prime. Just show that now. Yeah, that's uh, would have been interesting. If I can find one that's uh, intact. Another, another fungi to photograph. It's just down here. I'm looking through all this bracken. Yeah, it's just, just down here. I'll show you that. I'll just put the other camera down. And if you can see, oh, there we go. Can you see that on the ground here? Almost like a puff ball or something. But I think they were the same as the one I found and around there that was uh, rotten and gone over. So again, I've got the, I'm gonna handhold it here. It's very awkward to get in and get a shot. So I'm gonna handhold it and see if I can get a nice, nice image of this one. So I'm going to call it a day now. I've been here since what 7:30 this morning, um, and I've had the most amazing time. It's been brilliant. I've been photographing all these beautiful colours of autumn. I've wandered around and found some pretty interesting fungi, which I've hopefully got some nice images of. Um, and yeah, it makes a change not to carry the uh, the big lens around. I've been travelling relatively light with this, you know, the 1DX on a on a smaller lens. So yeah, it's been a nice nice change for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you did. Um, give the video a thumbs up. It certainly motivates me to go out and uh, and do more videos. Thank you to all the subscribers I've had recently. Um, it's pushed me over the 5K, which is amazing. I didn't think I was going to get there this year, and I've I've got there, you know, two months earlier than on my target. So yeah, it really is. It really is appreciated. And please do take care of yourself at the moment. Um, you know, with the global pandemic getting seems to be getting worse in pretty much every location. It's important that uh, you, you, know, you stay safe, but get out in nature when you can and uh, 
it certainly makes you feel a whole lot better. So thanks for watching this one. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye for now.